hello guys welcome once again in this tutorial I will show you how to add your checkbox selection values into the database so let's get started so what I will do first is I will add one more column to my database table here I am using SQLite you can also use whatever database you want so what I am doing is I am adding one column whose name is gender and that is of care type and I will press add column and press yes so my column gender is added so in this column I will add whether my employee is male or female okay so go ahead and do that and then come to your JFrame go to your source code and go to the bottom of your program and below your these declarations and all you have to declare one or two more variable right private string and one the variable name is gender sorry gender so I have declared one variable string called gender in here and then I will go to my J frame I will right click my mail radio button go to event action action performed so whenever I click my mail radio button my variable gender should become mail so what I have done is I have assigned my variable gender a value called male so whenever I click the radio button male the value is assigned gen gender value is assigned male and whenever I click female so go to your female radio button right click action and action performed and once again I will do the same but this time I will assign female value to it okay so I have assigned for male radio button male value and female radio button female so I have done that and now I will go to my design palette or JFrame and I will go or I will click my save button sorry I will click this and this is the method I have shown you earlier how to save your uh, data into the database so in case if you don't know just see my previous tutorial in which I have shown you how to insert data into the database with the help of the button so right click it event action action performed and in here you reach 
to your insert code which I have already shown earlier so I have added one one more column into my database so go to your string SQL query string and I will add here one more column called sorry I have done some spelling mistake gender and in here after values I will add one more question marks mark so in case you don't know how to insert values into the database go and see my previous tutorial where I have shown so what I have done is I have added one more column gender and I have added one more question mark in the values and in here what I will do is I will write so this is all the method for inserting employee ID text name surname and whatever age now I want to add my gender so I will write PST dot set string set string because my variable type of gender is string variable I have defined at the bottom and this is my sixth column I want to insert in one two three four five six and in here you will copy your gender variable name which you have assigned to these male and female um, radio button so you will copy this go to your save method and paste here after your sixth column number so you have done uh, that and now we are ready to run our program so let's run our program it's taking time I don't know why so till now I have 12 employees you can see gender is also shown here one more column is added we have added it just a few minutes ago and now I want to add employee number 13 because I have 12 employees already so employee number 13 his name is I don't know don't his name is don't his surname is no his age is whatever you want to select and he is a male for example and I will click save button my data is saved and you can see my employee number 13 is added and he is a male so I have successfully added the gender of my employee into the database for example I will add one more employee employee number 14 this time his name is Adam his name is Adam and his surname is Smith his age is 20 okay I want to select a female name Julie for example and she is a female and I will click save button my daughter is saved and she is a female so in this way you can use your radio button to 
add data into your database so this was a tutorial on the radio button and databases i hope you have learned something new today so please rate comment and subscribe to my channel and bye for now